Hello, my students at home, Ms. Galarza here, and I'm going to show you how you're going to do your radial design at home, and you're going to submit this instead of your linoleum print. With a normal white piece of paper, we're going to fold it so that we can cut out a square. I only need one. Meet the edges. Fold. And you can use the scissors for this part. Now we have our normal, our normal square piece of paper. We're then going to fold it twice so that we can divide it into four pieces. One, two, now when we open it, we have our four different sections, and you can label them if you want, so you know which ones is which, two, three, four. Then we are going to fold it, so we're only working on one fourth of our piece of paper. On this fourth, you're going to draw your radial design. If you already started your radial design and you have it in your folder, send me a message. That way that I can look for it and send you a reference so you can start working on this from home. Now, if you remember, in this radial design, we're adding three elements or symbols that represent us. For mine, I chose um, succulents because I love plants waves because I am from an island and my name means clear sea and some paint brushes because I love to paint. So I'm going to draw my radial design super quick here so you can see how I did this. The first step We're also going to try to use three patterns, and those could be completely of your choice. Here are my waves. I'm drawing this very quick, but I have to come back and darken those lines so I can transfer them. And I'll show you how to do that in just a second after I get my design down. And here are my paintbrushes. and some drips to represent the paint. So, the next step, I'm gonna bring it up so you can see how my lines look. The next step is to make these lines darker with a pencil or with a crayon if you have one, something that you can transfer one from one side to the other. So if I come in and I just darken my lines, Gonna darken all of them. Adding as I'm adding graphite, but I'm not pressing super hard. I mostly just want to darken all of my lines.
for today, the 28th, what I want you to make sure that you get is right here. Make sure that you have your design fully done and submit it to Padlet. It's okay if you don't get to transferring your design just yet because we have a couple more days to work on this. So once I made all of my lines darker, I have different textures, I'm going to fold it back and I'm going to use something that has a, a bit of a flat edge like this scissors and then I'm just going to press as hard as I can. It is very light, so I'm going to come back and keep pressing. So, if it looks like it's not transferring right, add a bit more graphite. Go over it one more time with your pencil. There we go. Now I can come back with my pencil and do the exact same thing. I'm going to go over all of these lines. over all of them making it very dark and then I'm gonna do the same transferring this one to this one and I'll go over it making all of the lines darker You're going to be working on this for about 45 minutes, the amount that you will work on class. Wherever you get at after that, that being only doing this little square right here, that's alright. If you can get some of it transferred, that's alright too. Tomorrow we're going to make sure that we transfer all of it. And we're going to come in with a black marker, something like this, or a sharpie, to go over all of these lines. So that it is darker and we can color in our design. Alright, I hope you have a great day today. If anyone's sick, I hope you feel better soon. And hopefully I'll see you in class in a couple of days.